are looking for is a monster. His evil is unspeakable. Vanguard at Auschwitz. Now listen to me, Kruvetna. Do not let him inside your head. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 thriller The Huntress of Auschwitz. A film that is written and directed by Richard John Taylor and it stars Lowry Watts Joyce, Rula Lenska, Paul uh, Dudne and Jeffrey Charles Richards. Now this film focuses on Lowry Watts Joyce's character who is simply named The Huntress who works for Rula Lenska's character who is called Amelia. Um, and she essentially travels all over and hunts down war criminals, Nazis, from the Second World War. Um, and she's given the opportunity to hunt down, in the UK, uh, Rudolf Transhauser, I think he's called, played by Geoffrey Charles Richards, who is, they believe to be, a brutal guard who is personally responsible for 100,000 100, deaths um, uh, Auschwitz. Uh, so she hunts him down to confront him. Right. What are my thoughts on the Huntress of Auschwitz? Um, I've, I'm, this is... I don't, okay, first thing I want to say about this film is that this is from the same people that brought us the recent horror film The Haunting of Pendle Hill, I believe it was called. It's the same director who did that film. Uh, much of the cast in this film is the same cast as well, apart from Rula Lenska. Um, so, uh, if you remember my review for The Haunting on Pendle Hill, it wasn't particularly glowing. It was a nice idea that was mishandled, I think, and it just wasn't particularly good. And that is largely very similar to what my thoughts are with this film. Um, it's an interesting idea that isn't executed particularly well. Now, the subject matter itself is obviously very, very sensitive indeed, I think. And it has to, I think whenever you're going to do a film like this, it has to be handled with a great deal of dignity and respect for the subject matter that you're dealing with. And I'm not convinced that this film did that. The only one that really, I think, did a good job of portraying the horrors of Auschwitz was Rula Lenska. Now she's not in the film a great deal, and yeah, and but she she has a particular scene in this film where she's explaining to the huntress the horrors of Auschwitz, and it was a really poignant moment, and it was the highlight of the film, and one of the very few highlights of this film, if I'm being particularly honest. Now Rula Lenska, if you don't know, is an actress who has spent much of her career certainly acting in the UK on UK TV and things like that. I think she used to be married to Dennis Waterman as well. I could be wrong, but I seem to remember that being the case. And Dennis Waterman was in Minder and things like that, who passed away very recently. You may not have heard of him in the US. But she's a well-respected, you know, actress, certainly in this country. And it was a great, great scene for her. And she managed to portray in that five-minute scene... Um, the real horrors of Auschwitz. Beyond that, no. The film, I think, does a very, very poor job of dealing with this subject matter. And it just basically becomes a very simple revenge tale of this young woman hunting down Nazi war criminals. Now, I think this film had an opportunity. Um, there is... I th There was a moment in this film where I think it could have been a cat-and-mouse film is he guilty? Is he is he innocent? Sort of thing, because he's he's claiming he's innocent when she's confronting him with all these horrors and things like that, as you would. But we, as an audience member, know that he isn't innocent, and we know because there was a key scene earlier in the film where he tried to drug her. So you know he's a wrong un. So you know there's something just not right, and that for me took away the whole tension of this film. If they hadn't have put that scene in and they'd have ramped up the is he guilty, is he not scenario, then it could have been a much better film. It could have balanced that f tension, that drama, that is he or isn't he. And they could have played around that for a long, long time 
until you know the truth is revealed by the end but because of that very simple scene that they chose to put in this film it took away any of that so you know he's guilty so all you've got for the majority of the runtime of this film is the huntress confronting this guy tied up in a chair with him denying everything um and there was it was an it was nothing it, it, by that point you'd lost pretty much all interest i mean it's not it's not a brilliant film anyway you know i mean there are some questionable performances here by a lot of the cast some are ruler lenska was very very good no issue with ruler lenska at all and there's a couple of other people who do a decent job i actually think jeffrey charles richards is a fairly decent actor um he was in the haunting of pendle hill briefly he's obviously in this afar more um fairly decent the material he's got to work with is not great but he's obviously a veteran actor poor lowry watts joyce i've seen her in this and the haunting of pendle hill and she's not really given anything to work with this character that she's played in this film is just one dimensional and actually quite cruel at times um and i just i don't know i i think there's potential there but from the evidence i've seen in the two films i've seen her in um she needs to challenge herself a little bit more i think and maybe choose a project a bit more wisely because I, I think there's a little bit of potential there with her but these films aren't highlighting it and there's a couple of other performances in the film that are just v quite poor i think so the film just does not hold your attention it does not hold its tension it is not thrilling in any way because to remove all that from the film and the subject matter are not sure was handled particularly sensitively either uh, it's just a basic simple revenge thriller and that's about it it's even advertised as a horror on imdb no horror here at all apart from the subject matter which is pretty horrific so i can't really give this any anything, this film anything more than a three out of ten it just doesn't deserve it i'm not really sure what it's trying to accomplish this film because you know it's not a thriller and it's the subject matters you know uh, not handled handled particularly well and it's fairly dull to watch there's not an awful lot happens in it so i can't really recommend it unfortunately this one so i hope you enjoyed this review i hope you found it useful if you did please click the like button and of course i'll be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very very soon